Hello everyone. Welcome back to Resolution Minds. So let's proceed with the journey as we have started with our uh, hacker rank series in the previous video where we have already solved first challenge and we have earned I believe three points out of 25. Okay, if we earn 20 more points, we'll, we'll be getting our first rank, first star in the hacker rank certificate. So let's uh, keep a target of finishing uh, 20 more, 22 more points and get at least one star in today's video. So as we can see that the next challenge is they are given as Java standard input and output one. Okay, so they are saying that it is a basic question, maximum the five points we are going to get and 97% have people, is the 97 is the percentage that people have solved this one. So let's quickly move ahead and solve this one. Let's dive into this. Okay, you can see the question they have already displayed in the uh, left side that I requires you to read the in, uh, input from the standard input and write the output to the uh, to standard output. One popular way to read and uh, input from standard in is by using a scanner class specifying the input stream as system dot in for an example. Guys, have you, as you can see that the standard stream to collect input from the Java is nothing but by using a scanner class you, as you can see that they already the hacker rank has defined the scanner class and inside that the system dot input stream they have already defined it so by this particular scanner object what we can do is we can collect the input from the user so as you can see on small example they have already given here okay but let's have a look at what is the problem there they are trying to define it that the task in this challenge you must read three integers for uh, from standard input then print them uh, to standard output each integer must be printed on a new line to make the problem a little easier a portion of the code is provided you can provide it for you in the editor below means they have provided some input they are expecting us to collect the three integers and just try to print it. Okay, looks very simple here. The sample input they have given, they are collecting 42, 100, and 125, and output also they are printing. Okay, let's do this one. So as you can see that the, the class has been created, main method has been defined, a scanner object is created, and inside that input stream has been posted. Okay, and one already they have written a code to collect the first integer. Let's collect the other two integers. I'll tell int b is equals to scan dot next int. Since we are interested in collecting integer value, I'll tell next int. I'll tell int b is equals sorry c is equals to scan dot next int, and I'll put a semicolon. To print the output, similarly, what I'll do is I'll just tell copy the same thing and I'll paste it. And once again, paste it, I'll tell here a B value need to be printed and C value need to be printed. As you can see, guys, here, what we are doing here is that we are telling print ln, where print ln in the Java says that after printing this particular value, my cursor will be jumping to the next line as they have specified in the task that is output should be. They are printed in a three different lines. It means every time you need to print in a new line. So let me quickly run the code. And you can see here, we are getting the uh, test cases passed. That is, congratulations, you have passed the sample test cases. Let's quickly submit this one and check what happens here. You can see test cases has been run and yeah. You can see it is a success. We have achieved the, our next five points means we are very closer to our first star. Only 17 more points are uh, we are away, uh, away from getting our first star. Okay, so let's quickly jump to the next one. <clears throat> As you can see, the next challenge is that uh, in this challenge, we test your knowledge of using if else conditional statement to automate the decision making processes. And if else statement has a following logic flow. Oh. 
conditional statement is if condition, if else condition is one of the conditional statement. Here, what happens here is that it is always remember one thing that return type of the conditional statement is always a Boolean value. That is either it will return a true value or either it will return a false. So apart from this, nothing else will be returned. So let's look at a task here. They're telling that they have given an integer. The let the integer number will be n. Perform a following condition actions. That is, if the n value they have given is odd, then print weird. If n value is even, and if it is the including the range of two to five, then you have to print not weird. If n value is even, and it is inclusive of the range from six to twenty, then again you have to print as weird. And if the n value is even and greater than twenty, you have to print not weird. All right, this looks very simple. Let's see what is the constraints, anything they have given. Okay, sample input. In, okay, let's see the sample input. The value is three. So tell me, is uh, yes, guys, is it even or odd? Obviously, three is an odd number. If you can see here, if n value is odd, then directly we need to print weird. So let's look at here. For three, it is getting weird printed, means absolutely correct. And you can see here, the value next number they have provided is 27. So if n 24, actually, so 24 is an even number and it is greater than 20. You can see here if the n value is even and greater than 20, you have to print not weird. And you can see for 24, not weird. As expected, output is coming. So let's quickly dive into this one and solve this particular problem. Okay. Mm. So n value has been collected here and scanner object they have created here and n value is being created here. So let me just quickly remove this one and proceed ahead. Okay. Let me write here if n value, whatever the n value is, let me just edit it, make it small n for our reference sake. You can proceed with your capital N also. If n percentage 2, okay, equal to equal to 0. This is one such condition. What will happen? It will returns you 0 value. If any number is uh, divided by 2 and the remainder is returning 0, then in such situation, it will return you a true value. Otherwise, it will return you false. So let's have a quick remember remembering this particular logic or formula. That is any number divided by 2. If the remainder is coming 0, it is always a even number. Otherwise, it is a odd number. Okay. So, they are telling that if the, if uh, let's see the first condition they have provided. If n value is there and it is an odd number, then we have to print weird. Okay. Very simple. Then I'll tell if n percentage 2 equal to equal to 1. In this situation, it will return you an odd value. I'll tell system dot out dot print ln. I'll just print it as, I'll copy from here. I'll tell weird. Okay. So let's see the next condition. Okay. What is the next condition? If n value, if it is written even and it is inclusive of two and five, then it should print as not weird. Then I'll tell n percentage two. Let me take it here. n percentage two equal to equal to zero. So this is this particular logic will return other check that whether the given number is even or not. But they have also telling that we need to check if that remember whatever the reminder is coming if it's coming in this particular inclusive inclusive means two and five are included in our logic. So I'll tell n is greater than okay. Uh, and in inclusive of 2 and 5, I'll tell n percentage 2 equal to equal to 0 and n greater than or equal to 2 and and n is lesser than or equal to 5. Okay. In this particular case, I have to merge both, both of this one. I'll close this one and I'll tell and and in this particular situation. Okay. And I'll clo open and close this one. I'll copy the same task again, but this time I have to print not weird. I'm just copying from here. I'll just put it here. As we can see, we have completed two particular condition n, odd, and even. And next, let's proceed ahead. I'll tell else if, else if, 
that is i'll tell same thing i'll just copy once again okay and i'll tell here as paste again i'll tell if n value is even and is inclusive of the range 6 and 20 i'll tell n value is greater than or equal to 6 and lesser than or equal to uh, what is that 20 right i'll tell 20 okay in this particular situation what is that we have to print that condition they are telling that is we have to print weird i'll just tell copy from here i'll tell paste it here and yeah we are successfully completed the third condition also so the last condition is that if the n value is even and greater than 20 i'll just tell one more condition else else if if n percentage to equal to equal to zero n percentage to equal to equal to zero okay and 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 i'll tell n value is greater than 20 okay greater than 20 in this situation they are expecting us to print not weird that looks very weird but yeah as per the requirement we have successfully completed you can have a look at the logic guys if n we need to first check if the n value is odd or not as per the logic n percentage 2 equal to equal to 1 is going to return us the number is even or odd since if it is returns a true value it will come inside and it will print weird next is if the n value is even and inclusive of 2 to 5 you can see here if n percentage 2 equal to equal to 1 it will return you odd if equal to return 0 then it will return you a even number so if the n value is even and inclusive of 2 and 5 it will print as not fair similarly if number is even and inclusive of 6 to 20 then it is weird if the number is even and greater than 20 then it is not weird so let's check if it is working or what i'll just still run the code so let's see what happens there it is processing and yep you can see congratulations our sample test cases has been passed so let's submit and check actual test cases if it able to pass or what run and you can see test cases are running hey hey you can see all the hidden test cases also we have passed and it has it is saying that congratulations guys we have earned 10 more points we are just how much seven points away to from achieving our first star i believe everyone is liking the video if you're liking please hit the like button and subscribe and share it with your friends okay let's jump to our next challenge click on next and yeah look at here. the next challenge is about let's read it in this challenge you must read an integer a double and a string from standard input then print the values according to the instructions in the output format section below okay that's fine we just have to collect a integer a double and a string value and we have to print in some format which they have expected we'll see that later let's what see what is the next one to make the problem a little bit easier the portion of the code is provided for you in an editor okay the sample code they have provided they are telling note we are recommending java standard in and standard out to before attempting this challenge okay oh so there are three particular lines integer double and string and output should be print on the first line print string and followed by unaltered string read from the standard input double and as well as the integer value okay the output they have already provided but the logic of collecting it we have to uh, write it so let's jump it into it and see so integer value they have collected let's collect a double value i'll tell double uh, d is equals to scan dot next double is the correct inbuilt method to collect the at double value next i'll tell string yes is equals to scan dot next is the next line let's write it because you can see here spaces are there if you write next the spaces will not be collected by our scanner 
if you write next line in the sentence, our spaces will also be collected. So let me just remove this one. And you can see guys here, the tricky string value is getting printed. Okay, next double value and integer value is getting printed. Let's run and check if it is working or what. I'll tell, run the code. Hey, you can see the output is that uh, they are giving this one and output is coming double and integer. But if you see properly, that string value has not been collected here. Let's go there. Let's go there. Yep. Let's be, let me check if this is going to solve or not. I'll tell you what I'm trying to do here. It is not collecting our string value. Scan dot next line. Okay. And I'll run the code. Yay. You can see our test cases has been passed. Now, you must be wondering that why I have added this particular line and not collected anything from here. Here, what happened is that after collecting any uh, number and then I very next, if you try to collect a string value, the input will be collecting input will be skipped. There is a huge concept behind that will understand in any upcoming video. But here, let me just tell you in the short that after collecting this double value, without collecting this particular string, it was jumping to the next line, it was printing the output. Okay, but to whatever the jump is happening, I made it jump to be happen here, but very next line, it was collecting the input. So that is the reason I have simply dummy code I have written here to jump that, uh, catch that jump, and it will be cached in this particular line, and it has collected. So we can see sample test cases has been passed here. Let me go ahead and submit this code sample test cases are running and you can see we have successfully cleared our first uh, sample uh, means actual hidden test cases and we have achieved our first star you can see you have earned your first star okay i believe everyone has uh, learned something and uh, Please do let us know in the comments if you have any particular doubts and we'll see you in the next video where we'll continue our hacker rank journey to achieve the next star. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.